Okay, hi folks. What we have here is Kuju coffee from Ethiopia. It's a pour over coffee system. And I was curious about it because they were, it was all self contained. I love pour over coffee. That's my favorite way to drink it. So let's see how this works out. And um, it may take me a few minutes to get to that point, but we're, I did get a little bit of a head start because I didn't think you'd want to sit here through the whole process watching. But this particular one is from Ethiopia. It's Yerga Chef. And that happens to be my favorite morning coffee. Um, if, I don't know if you know this, but coffee, a lot of times we think that the stronger the flavor of the coffee, the stronger the caffeine level. That's actually inversely uh, proportionate. The stronger the flavor, the weaker the coffee. Or the, yeah, the weaker the caffeine content. You like your coffee to be really robust and strong. It means it's been roasted a lot. And because it's been roasted so much, some of the caffeine is lost. Yerga Chef and a lot of others are lightly roasted. Breakfast roast or uh, breakfast blend is lightly roasted. I'm trying to think of some of the others. Um, these are lightly roasted because that preserves the caffeine level. That's why um, I think it's donut shop and breakfast blend and, you know, others like that are uh, lighter roast. They aren't as bitter. They aren't as strong flavored, but they do have the caffeine level that a lot of us are looking for in the morning. So we're going to find out and I'll pause this and I'll let you know what I think in a few minutes. One thing that I think I would say is this system works and if you don't want to spend money on a, uh, a platform to make pour over coffee, this works just fine. Um, I took their initial package or that their um, trial thing that was on Instagram, I think. And um, the coffee, the, the cup that it comes in is smaller than what I'm used to. But um, as you can see, we're doing pretty good. I think personally, though, if I were to go with their plan, a plan with them, because they do carry the one coffee I really like. I love Ethiopian Yerga Chef. But if I were to try to, if I were to go with their plan, I probably would get a platform and um, make the coffee uh, with a platform up above it. And there are lots of them online and you can get them. And I'm not sure, I haven't even had a chance to look at their uh, website to see if they make one themselves. But we're almost there. You can see it's starting to dry up. Uh, and I think it's reached the level in the coffee. Yes. So I'm going to pause this for a minute. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to figure it out. And I'll be back and we'll try it out. All right, the finished product is right here. And the cup that it comes in is a metal cup that's enameled. It's really nice, um, very light. The coffee itself, I really like because it's, like I said, it's my favorite blend. So I tend to, this tends to be my default one if I can find it. It's hard to find. So um, I would recommend giving it a try if you like pour over coffee. That little paper um, pour over thing does work. I just tend to want a fuller cup and things like that. And so I probably would go with a different type of uh, coffee setup. But uh, the coffee itself is really good. I think it's definitely worth trying out if you're a coffee fan. The name of it is Kuju. 
And I'm sure they've got a website. I'll have to look that up and provide a link. Thanks.